Hey what's everyone, it's Shadow. Welcome to today's video where I will be letting UFC 5 decide who will win between Jiri Prochaska versus Alex Perea in the upcoming fight with UFC 295 to decide who will become the light heavyweight champion. So I'm going to let two legendary AI fighters go at it to decide the outcome of this upcoming fight. I'm really excited for this fight because I really like Alex Perea and this could be a really good fight between him and Prochaska. So hopefully nothing crazy happens where they give it like a draw or something and there's still no light heavyweight champion. I swear it's been like crazy with that belt for a while now. So hopefully we'll get a, a light heavyweight champion and there'll be no issues around it for a while. But we'll see. But first, we're going to see what UFC 5 thinks is going to happen. Alright, fight is about to begin. We're going to see what the game thinks is going to happen. Oh, Braska already landed a nice jab off the bat. Oh, but Perea catches him with a big overhand. Good front front leg kick from uh, Perea, followed by a nice jab, followed by Prohaska, a nice jab. A good body kick from Prohaska. Bro, his freaking hair is distracting me. It looks it looks so funny in the game where he's just like bouncing around. Oh, good the head, good head kick from Perea. Oh, but nice hook lands from uh, Prohaska, uh, Prohaska, followed by a nice spinning back fist that landed, followed by a nice left hook. The wild shots now from Perea. Oh, but he got caught by that head kick, though. Oh, nice jab from uh Prohaska. Oh, a nice hook from Perea. Oh, another overhand lands from Perea. That's two that landed so far already. Oh, Perea got him with a nice left hook. You gotta be careful with those. Oh, good leg kick from Perea. The first jab landed through from uh, Ross could be trying to follow it up, but Perea blocked the rest of his combo and then followed with a nice body shot. Oh, good leg kick from Prohaska now. That was a nice leg kick from Perea. Oh, that overhand just missed from uh, Perea, then Prohaska followed with a nice strike. Oh, another spinning back fist landed from Prohaska. Oh, nice head kick from Perea. That landed. Oh, Perea caught. Look at that. He caught the leg kick. And follow with a nice spinning back elbow, look like. Another good leg kick from Perea. Alright, less than two minutes left in the round. A nice jab from Prohaska. A little good front kick lands from Prohaska. Uh, nice jab for both of them. Oh, that head kick lands from Perea. Oh, there's a uh, Perea caught him. Uh, with the fainting that leg kick. Another nice little combo from Blahovich. Oh, good. Head, another head kick from Perea. Woo! Perea just missed that. Or dodged it.
that looked weird. It's like his leg was off the ground, but he still like looked like he lunged forward and struck. Oh, nice hook lands from Perea. Another good leg kick from Max from both of them. Good body kick from Prohaska. Less than 20 seconds left in the round now. Oh, nice hook from Perea. Alright, that's the end of round one. Really close round, I would say, from those two. Both doing a really good job of striking. Both landed some good um, power shots. I think this, I think this will be a really competitive round. Round two, I think it's going to be really similar. Uh, Perea did a good job of attacking, attacking the legs and throwing in some nice head kicks. He got a couple of head kicks to connect in that first round. See if he can continue to do that in the second round. Prohaska doing a good job of himself. Landed some big shots. So we'll see. Alright, round two. Oh, nice hook from Perea. All about a good leg kick. A good front body kick from Prohaska. Oh, I was rubbing my eye. Didn't see what happened. I rubbed my eye for a second and missed it. Oh, but that, I, saw, I saw that one. Oh, another head kick land while Prohaska was rocked. That was dan dangerous. Oh, good leg kick from Prohaska. Nice little combo from Prohaska, but that head kick was blocked though from Perea. Oh, the spin back of his lands from Prohaska. He follows it with a good leg kick. Both of them are throwing quite a good quite a bit of good leg kicks. They're gonna have to start checking them. Another good leg kick. A good front body kick from Prohaska, but... Oh! Prohaska just, just ducks under that head kick from Perea. Oh! Perea caught him lacking with that one. Damn! Oh, show that replay again. Let's see that new UFC 5 cinematic replay. Let's see front body kick from Prohaska. Followed by BOOM! That head kick from Perea. Ooh, that was clean! Alright, so it looks like UFC 5 is predicting Alex Perea to win by a head kick in the second round. I can see that happening. I can see Perea getting I can see. I can see Perea winning. By a knockout or a TKO. Uh, maybe we could see one of his signature left hook knockouts. But I don't know a whole lot about Prohaska. So um, maybe that dude's built like iron. I don't know. But Perea's power is crazy. I mean he knocked Izzy out. In the, fir or the first time they fought in the UFC. He also knocked him out in kickboxing too. But that was a couple years ago. But in the UFC he also knocked Izzy out. Now his wrestling isn't great. But Prohaska did uh, struggle. Uh, whenever he fought Glover Teixeira. But he got that crazy, like, but he got that crazy submission against Teixeira in the fourth or fifth round whenever they fought last, when he became the champion. So I, I think this could be a really close fight between these two. I can see it going down in a couple of different ways, but I think it's going to be a very exciting fight that I am ready for. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Feel free to put your fight prediction down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all later.